two teams coming out here. It is a party atmosphere here tonight, it really is. Great to see earlier on the youngsters strutting their stuff, some fantastic rugby league games as well. Hopefully more of the same to come tonight in the championship. And it's a big game as well. The Bulls need to close the gap on the top six, a win. Pretty much a must for them and for Newcastle. Well, their playoff hopes may have been and gone, but a win here and you never know what could happen. Let's have a look then at the two teams. Dennis Betts will be hoping that his side can bounce back after that big loss at Featherston last time out. They are boosted by the inclusion of the Wigan trio, Amila Hanley, Sam Halsall and Tom Forber, who starts on the bench. Big night for Ollie Roberts and Brad there as well, both making career appearances 150 and has lots of Super League experience in this side. Akuma Tai, Alex Foster, Mitch Clark, to name but a few. Uh, Jake Shorrox is back after his red card against the Bulls at Odsall. And as we heard earlier on, Josh Woods electing to play on an emotional night for him and his family. What about the visitors then, the Bradford Bulls? Mark Dunning permanently in charge now, and he'll want to hit the ground running as they hope to close the gap on the top six. They make a couple of changes from the loss to Lee last weekend. Skur and Burton missing out, Fleming and Evans coming in, and two familiar names in these parts. Kieran Gill, try score extraordinaire for the Thunder. He lines up in the centre, and Sam Hallis goes up against his former club. He was player of the match last time we were here on Premier Sports. Will there be more of the same tonight? And now they're going to make their way towards the centre of the field. Here they are now with Shorrox, gets the ball out wide, big ball over the top, can they get on the end of it? They're trying to work themselves down the touchline, and Newcastle are over! First try of the night for the Thunder, and it was a great pass over the top, Thunder lead. And it was by that man, Josh Woods, how he's composed himself after that minute silence to come up with this pass. You know, he summed it up brilliantly, the ball out the back from Shorrox came to Woods, and he just sums it up and throws it over the top. But there's still plenty to do for Josh Johnson, who just gets rid of his opposite and puts the ball down. And just highlights Cookie how poor that kick and how much it's cost his team depth pattern. Well, Kev mentioned it, Mark, didn't he? He mentioned that not just field position here, but a chance to post points. And you're right, really smart play from from Josh Wood, who summed it up perfectly over the top. Fucking Johnson will be really disappointed because that's a tackle that the right winger of Bradford's got to make, and he's just been palmed off, hasn't he? Boaf on this near side is calling for it, but they're going left here. Woods with a little skip through, gets it away to Mullen. They're going down the sideline again. Is this going to be a second try? Tried to reach out, inches away. Last one, Bradford's defence resolute. They're trying to pinch one from close in, no! And they have got a second try. Newcastle Thunder's blistering start continues. And they are over for their second try. It's Eves with a score, and it's 10 points to nil. And it was that man again, Josh Woods. He just came up with a beautiful little play. He shows the dummy, opens the space up for Mullen and Johnson, and Johnson goes very close to scoring once again. But it was the hooker, Josh Eves. He just looks to his left, dummies the pass, and because they're in turmoil, the defence, he gets over, and what a fantastic start, Cooker. Yeah, it's it's all about Wood, isn't it? It's all about Josh Wood, and what, what he's doing is he's just dragging defenders and, and pulling them exactly where he wants. 15 out, we'll play the ball now. Here is Hallas. Hallas gets it away to Patton. Patton out the back, they've got numbers, bodies in motion, great hands, flying finish! Has Miller got this ball down? He has, it's a wonderful try from the Bradford Bulls. And it's a great finish from Ryan Miller, flying into the corner. Bradford are on the ball. Yeah, and it's a lesson in that patience that Kev just spoke about. The set before it was really deliberate down the middle, the kick at the end of it into a position where it made Mullen make a play at it. They get underneath him, Walker and Gill throw him over the in-goal area, and it's a goal-line dropout. And then the set-up with some shape, don't they? This is the pass from Patton out the back to the full-back, who then will play really nice hands on this left edge, don't they? And... Fantastic finish from, from the Bradford Bulls winger. Looks so strong, Sam, also, when he's defending. He does. Here's the kick, a tester over on the far side. Mullen, as he juggled it, he's lost Play it. On. And Foggy Johnson collects, and he will go over. Bradford go back to back. They are right in it. Mullen could not handle the kick. And David Foggy Johnson has his fourth of the season. And there was nothing in that, it was a very simple simple set, very similar set to how they, they played before where they were patient, it's a deliberate kick, it's 
it's more of a chip, he jumps off the floor and it's just a, a poor individual error by fantastic player in Craig Mullen. But David Poggin Johnson just getting the ball and scoring the try and the game's flipped on its head and it's come from that ill discipline. If you if you stay clean, you don't allow them little chips into your, your own. And here now is Forber, gets the ball away. Here they go forward now with Akuma Tai, former Huddersfield Giants man. Badges his way forward. And they are inside the 10 here. And they're going to look to work it to that left side. Shorrox with a little show and go. Scott. Tries to reach out. And he has reached out. Shorrox has been on fire with the ball from the kicking tee. And now he's helped himself to a try as well. He showed the dummy. And Bradford weren't quick enough to react. Newcastle lead by 18 points to 10. And I really like the variation in Shorrox's play tonight. He shipped it on most times to this left-hand side. And because they've been so devastating down that left edge with Woods and Halsall and, and Johnson, they're expecting it again, and it's Kabula. And then the inside defender, I think it's Evans, who he goes through. And he's just too strong. He's a powerful halfback. And he does. He bounces off Evans, and he gets over the line. It's a great dummy and a great score and an important score. This is a huge minute and 29, I think there is left, so it's huge for Bradford that they keep him out. They're going short side, here's Woods now, fires the ball, great pass! Great pass, great try! And it's that young fella, Sam Halsall! Tenth try of the season for the Thunder, and that was brilliant! What a pass from Woods! What a finish from the Thunder! Well, between them both, I don't know who's been the best player on the field, but it's either Woods or this man, Halsall. He missed the break. And, he, and he, do, he does it on his own, he just skips round for you, like Cookie said. I think it's a really good trait to have when you back yourself. It took a magnificent tackle from Elliot Keir to stop him, but then the ball from Woods there. Have a look what he does on his feet, he just has a little step, doesn't he, off his right foot and increases his, his speed of play to the, the three-in defender, and that gives Halsall the, the ball on the outside of the defender opposite him. It's a fantastic play from Woods, and it's 4v4, but he makes it a 4v3 with that skip on the outside of the fourth defender. He gets the third defender interested from the sideline, and then it's all about Halsall's line of run and delivery of pass. And seriously, for those that don't know, Ab Walker's story, he retired, didn't he, for several seasons, he had a a problem as now the ball works its way well, I will come to that in a moment because Halsall's away he's got to feed the winger Johnson going for the double cuts in second try for him tonight Jack Johnson Halsall drew the defence and puts his winger into the corner the thunder double up either side of the break that could be the try this season to victory and you can put that one down to Josh Woods again he just feigns the kick he just dummies they put him under pressure the hips work, he finds Brad Gallagher, he finds that man, Sam Halsall, who sums it up well, and then Jack Johnson, who's been particularly good, especially when he's had a little bit of a chance tonight. But it's all from Josh Woods once again. He's just calm, isn't he? What he is, is he's really calm. When he sees somebody rushing him, Mark, he takes his time, and it's a real lost skill within our game, isn't it, to be able to play slow and take your time. Carries it forward. Better come in left. Well, they've got... Numbers galore that way, and that's the way they're going. Shorts goes short, and they are over the line. Brad Day, on his 150th career appearance, was unstoppable close in. He's been fantastic tonight. The Thunder have been fantastic, and they're going to pick up a third win in 11. And the danger that they've created out the back by Josh Woods and Sam Olsall is what keeps their eyes on them. And Jake, Jake Sherrick knows that, he does a no-look pass. Sammy Kabula's edging his bets a little bit to give him an extra set, step on that Josh Woods left edge. And unfortunately, Brad Day's just too strong, too powerful and scores the try. But he deserves that, he's, he's run hard all night. Shorrox, they're going to stack 4v3 on the right edge here. And that's where they're going here, they've got the bodies. Can they provide the pass? Mullen gets it away for Balafo! He's into the corner, Gideon Boafo, he enjoyed that one. 23rd try of his career, just his 32nd game, he really is explosive. He didn't have a lot to do there from the plan move, but it's another, the Thunder have got 40. It's something I really love about the game, Kev, that we've brought in, is the midfield scrum, it allows the fullback to pick which side he wants to go on. On this occasion, Shorrocks plays right at the line, he's got Mullen again on that sweep line, and then we've got... 
the winger scoring in the corner. I think it's a fantastic play when we put scrums in the middle of the field and then we, we ask the defenders to go four versus three. Really, really important that you get it right and unfortunately they just turn in on the edge, Miller, and Miller's just come up with the error in the middle of the field, which is a play he had to make, but he turns in there and a fantastic finish and a great play. Four so far for the season for him. Ball swings into centre field, Woods pulling the strings again, gets it away to Shorrock, short pass for Foster, bumps one off, dives for the line! It's another thunder try, and they are running riot tonight on Magic Friday. 45 points to 10. Yeah, it's great shape, isn't it? And this time they pick the right edge, and the right edge is going to get some football now. Woods drops a couple of players under, has a straight runner in a Kuma tie, and then Shorrock again picks the right pass. He Dismisses Mullin on that sweep line, plays short to Alex Foster, who bumps off one player and then goes really low at the knees of the, the Bradford Bulls defenders on the try line, and there's no stopping him. I think Bradford, especially the pack, they're very big, but I don't think they're mobile enough at the minute on this field to come up with some of these athletes and defend against these athletes. Alex Foster though, just bumps one away and beats a couple with his right foot. It's poor defence from Bradford. Well, by them fans. if ever a picture told a story, that's it, isn't it? They're right on their own line, though, here. Ball now, not the best pass, but it bounced up kindly. There it is again, that Kevin Brown bounce pass. <laughs> Brad Day, how many carries has he took this half? Uh, he's not stopped. He's unstoppable, isn't he? It's four, but he's going to pinch one, is he? Is it going to be his first ever try? It is! Tom Forber, his first senior try, dives in from close range. And a few boos from the away end, they are not happy, but those Thunder fans certainly are. Well, the youngster, the dual reg player from the Wigan Warriors is over. He's been pretty good tonight. He's been fantastic and he's waited his time for that. I think his service, you know, barring that one, has been pretty good. And he just sums this up great. He looks, he looks left, he looks right. There's threat all over. Dan Fleming is too busy trying to push Brad Day and he just that's just too easy. That's that, just too easy. That's poor from Fleming. Yeah, really poor, isn't it? I mean, what's he concentrating on there? Other than and it's not going to hurt anybody, is it, when you just flick your your, your palm of the hand into to, to an opponent's face. Can the Thunder end then with a high? No, they're just gonna roll it in the touch and immediately all the players go and give a hug to their teammates full of respect for what he has done tonight and just proves that this team in the North East is very much a family orientated club. The Bradford Bulls weren't good enough tonight, but the Thunder were absolutely fantastic. In front, inside two minutes, they never, ever look back. And it's a very happy Friday night here in Newcastle. Magic Friday it was labelled, there was no magic coming from the Bradford Bulls, that's for sure.